What is going on, fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here, and in today's video, I have something super special for you guys. Now, of course, this is a house robbery, a home invasion, a home heist. And what's different about this heist or robbery compared to other home robberies is that the outcome is different every time you do it, the first time you do it. Does that make sense? So, Rockstar went super out of their way with this home robbery, and you can do this as well on your map. It's called Lenny's Shack right above Lemoyne. If I zoom all the way out, you guys can see where it's at. It's right underneath Emerald's Ranch and above Rhodes. Rhodes is down here. It's right in between the M and the O of Lemoyne. Now, the issue with this, if you have visited this place before and you killed the people inside, unfortunately, you cannot do it again. What's great about this location is the fact that, well, it's sort of different every time you reload your game. So what I'm gonna do, at this point, I'm gonna save my game here and I'm gonna show you the different things you can do in this specific robbery, which is pretty cool. Now, I do wanna let you know that this in no way, shape or form is a great way to make money. There are way better money guides on my channel that showcase how to make thousands of dollars. This is not one of those. This is just a very cool home robbery you can do with some people that are inside a house that are very drunk so let's listen in okay i am pretty sure they just realized I'm here. Now, when you get to this point, you only want to kill three of the four guys. So I killed the guy in the red and I killed the guy with the hat. There's one more left. Now, the last one's going to surrender. There's only one left. Give it up now. You threaten them. Head. All right, all right. Un under the pillow on top of my bed. Just take it and get out of here. All right, there you go. So now he's let you know about his loot stash underneath his pillow uh, on his bed. So we're going to go around. Now we got to remember which one he was. He was the one with the small hat on his head. I don't even know how they saw me, but let's take the hidden stash. So it's underneath the pillow. I believe it's the top. Yep, it's the top bunk. And underneath this pillow, he has some extra money. And in this robbery, you'll make over a hundred and some change bucks. On top of that, there's also a stash box here. If you're a big fan of the double action revolver, the only way you'll get two, these two things is if you successfully do what I just did. But get a, a free gun really easily from this heist as well. And of course, it'd be in poor condition. There's also a cigarette card. If you're collecting them, don't collect them by like finding them in the world. You gotta use my guide on the channel. It's way faster. There's also some money here in a money clip, which is super simple to grab as well. So scattered throughout this whole area, there's just tons of money. Now, as you saw, that guy told us, hey, my stash of money is underneath my pillow. But if we were to kill all four of these individuals in this house uh, without like holding one of them up, we would have never gotten that $75. So if you come to this location, make sure you do not kill all the dudes that are here. Now, there's another way you can do this, which is also pretty cool. As you guys saw, we got the stash underneath the pillow. But watch when I reload my game and look what happens. So I've reloaded my game and now I am excited to go to the little shack over here. And let's speak with, well, not speak with these guys, but let's listen to what they have to say this time as we totally missed their conversation and sort of ruined what they had going, so. You can. Your class is soaked as me right now. Yeah. Well, but I'll still be going when this young comes up. <laughs> well, what, what about the other night when you was airing your paunch oh, in every corner? Man, oh, it stank to high hell. That weren't the whiskey. It was bad mutton. Oh, bad mutton. Oh, back me up here, fellas. Three glasses down, this one could be pissing in a horse's ass, and he wouldn't know no better. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. <laughs> no, sir. No, you ain't the best drinker I ever know. 
What are you talking about? <laughs> You're just messing with me now. Oh, no. Uh -huh. yeah, no. You always do that crazy thing where you try to scratch your ear with hey, your no. elbow. Single time. What are you doing? <laughs> Shut the hell up! <laughs> All three of you, you sons of bitches! <laughs> Baby, don't cry now. Oh, we love you. Easy, <laughs> will you? What the hell is that? It ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nice. You get your feelings hurt. We oh, <laughs> get your feelings hurt. Oh, now. Oh, get out of here. Oh, get out of here. Oh, Let me God. scratch your ear for you. <laughs> 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 oh. oh, man, did your piss stink. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, false alarm, oh. false alarm. <laughs> oh. well, you better go check yourself. <laughs> I think I may have drew mud on that yeah. one. Well, there's too many things for you. That's going to itch when it dries. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. 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 I think I'm gonna go rest my eyes. So once you hear them say I'm gonna go rest my eyes a bit, they will slowly all fall asleep and go to their beds. This guy is going to his bed. That's the one that we killed. Then we have a few others that will fall asleep right where they're at. So one of them will actually fall asleep right on the floor. And it's just it got so foggy all of a sudden. And you can see on your minimap when they fall asleep. On the minimap, you see they, they go off your minimap. That means they've gone to sleep. I got a pants. And then there's one left awake, and he'll fall asleep. Now, if you wanted to, you could do this very, very stealthy. So, if I wanted to, I can go inside. What the hell is that? Oh, but okay, well. That Hello. Son of a bitch. Ah! I missed. Oh, God. Oh God! Oh God! Jesus! All right, we gotta kill the one with the white shirt. That one. Oh! I almost died. Shoot! I'm unarmed. Give me one reason why I shouldn't put a bullet through your head. That was rough. Sack of grain in the kitchen. I stashed my cut there. After robbing it again, of course, you can only rob this place once. If you come here after you robbed it the first time, you will only get uh, your first, like, robbery. You won't get anything additional. But what I like about this robbery, and it's so different than other robberies, is that each time you were to do it the first time, whoever you didn't kill will give you a different location than the last person. So... The first guy told us it was underneath his pillow. This guy told us it was uh, in this grain bin or this, this, I guess, bag of grain. And then there's two other guys. So I want to see where the other guys lead us to where their hidden stashes are. Of course, I'm only making a maximum of $75. You can only do this once after you kill three guys and leave one guy alive. No matter who you leave alive, all of them will just leave you $75. But what I like to look at is the depth of this random hidden mission is the fact that rockstar went out of their way and added four different variations of this same robbery like i can't some example i can't go to the pillow right now now i know it's there like i can't go to the pillow and loot the pillow it only allows me to loot the stash box but because we learned the knowledge earlier that it was in the pillow we could loot it so it just makes you think like man rockstar really really went out of their way to make these little side missions as enjoyable as possible compared to the story mode. Like, it's just like, this game is so, there's so much detail to it. So let's load it up one more time as there is two people in this house that have money stashed in a pillow, unfortunately. One's in the top bunk and I believe one's in the bottom bunk. And then the other guy has it stashed somewhere else that I think is the coolest spot out of the, out of the four, so. Let's jump into the next one. The next guy we're gonna leave alive is the guy that's right in the front of the table. Uh, I think he gives another one that we haven't seen yet, so we're gonna run in and... Uh-oh, I missed. That's the one we're leaving alive right there. Can 
And the last guy, I think, is just inside. Let's see. They gotta run in there. There we go. Wait, what? He... Did he kill himself? How the, what just happened? We're gonna try this again. I almost beat this guy down, by the way, with, with that pistol whip. I shouldn't put a bullet through your head. Okay, okay. There's a loose floorboard in the kitchen by the wall. I hide my cut there. There you go. Now, a lot of you guys are probably wondering at home, like, Garrett, what if... And I've tried this, dudes. Trust me, I've tried this. What if I got all of them inside to come outside and I lassoed them all? Well, I've tried that. I've tried that, dude. I've tried that. And unfortunately... Well, once you lasso all of them, the last one will surrender. Once he surrenders, he'll let you know where his stash is. And from that point, sadly, he doesn't, t he doesn't think nothing happens. Like all the other guys you have lassoed are stuck lassoed. Like once you hog tie them, you cannot unhog tie them. It's so weird. I don't get it. I don't understand why that happens, but this wouldn't be an outlaw Gary video if I didn't give you guys a little something extra to go along with this video. It's something I think is really cool, and it's actually just down the road. So, come on this quick adventure with me. Of course, if you're still watching and you enjoy the video, drop it a like. Let's go for 2,000 likes. That's the goal for today. Now, if you open up your map, of course, we're still in the same area right above Lemoyne. Uh, there is a house right here that has a comic book in it. Now, if you want the comic book, you can get it. I'm not going to go get it because it's, it's just a comic book. But if you want to collect them, I believe they, they have cheats. The next area we, we're going to be going to is to this bridge right here. And it's a, it's a little bit of an Easter egg. It's a little bit of an Easter egg. And this is a, a pretty interesting one because it's a cool loot stash spot. Now, at this location, you get more than just some loot. And all in all, from this video, you should make over... 200 bucks it's not like wow i'm gonna be a millionaire no it's just like hey it's a it's a cool amount of money and sometimes you get a random event like this one all right Now, this was just a random event. This wasn't anything to do with what I was going to show you guys. But I can return this for a reward. But uh, along the way to what I wanted to show you guys is a chest here. Might as well take the money clip while we're here, dudes. 12 bucks, not bad. Some carbon repeater ammo. Gold pocket watch. Okay, not too bad. Just some extra stuff. I could loot all these guys, but I ain't got time for all that. What we're going to do is we are going to showcase this interesting little secret. Now, as you guys know, we are very close to the swamp. And one funny thing about this location when you first arrive is that there is a little alligator here that, um, well, to be honest, I don't really know what happened because it's like an alligator's tail with what it looks like. I don't know why, but it looks like this is the, the front. Even though I know this is the tail, it looks like way too long to be an alligator's tail. But... Something happened here where the alligator came up and uh, bit this guy's leg off, right? When he bit his leg off, this guy was here for a reason. He wasn't here just to hang out. He was digging a chest. That's right. He was in the process of getting a chest either buried or unburied. And luckily enough for us, he left us the goodies. Now, we got a coin sack here which is going to net you $12. Then we have a coin cup that's going to net you $21 and then some bitters that I can't take because my inventory is full. But I wanted to showcase to you, this to you guys because I can't make a whole video on this by itself, but I thought it was really, really cool. 
Now, I could show you guys one more thing just for the heck of it, but it really doesn't add anything to, I guess, your pocket or add any value to your gameplay. But there is a really cool giant anaconda right next to me right now do you want to see it let's check it out real quick we're in the area we might as well check it out now just up the road from where we are right now there is literally what i just said a giant and i mean giant anaconda hanging from a tree and it's so random and so cool that i thought this would be a perfect opportunity to show you guys where it's at now it should be in this area unfortunately it's really 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 dark out let me take out yeah let me have my gun out just in, just in case if you've ever seen the movie the jungle book this snake let me quickly eat real quick because i feel like this is gonna go bad now have you ever seen that movie the jungle book this snake is from that book in theory that's what people are speculating and it's literally a giant snake that's just dead like it's freaking massive, dudes. Um, you can shoot it. It's yeah, it's 100% dead. I don't, I don't really understand it, but it is super dead. Oh wow! Look at the bullet hole. It actually, you can see the blood. It actually expands. That's crazy. That's so cool. But yeah, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this quick little showcase of the snake. In addition to this video of the robbery, I wanted to give you guys a little bit extra in this video just to showcase, hey, like there's cool stuff around everything you do in Red Dead Redemption 2. And hopefully you guys have learned a ton from my channel. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you guys drop the video like. And uh, I want to thank you guys so much for all the support. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So turn on those notifications, dudes. I upload every day. Thanks so much for all the support. If you guys have any questions or videos you want to see here on the channel, ones that are on the top of my list are the hunting guides for legendary animals and overall just a hunting guide. It seems like a lot of you guys have trouble with hunting. I have some super stellar tips that I want you guys to know. So that's about it. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys later on today with a brand new video. Later, guys. Oh